I don't know if you can see him. There's a little green gecko in there. But he's turning himself brown. Because now he's in the brown. And he is so well camouflaged now. I don't know. Anyway, he was bright green on this big platform when I walked up. But he ran off too fast. First he stopped on the corner here to eat a big fat fly, which I am more than happy to let him do. Because there are some flies around here. Because of mud that we created when we dug the place up. Anyway, back at it again today. So we've got this one that's built. We've got a front and a back framed wall, even if we don't have a front and a back A upright yet. We'll get to that. But we do have this big old pile of two by sixes to make more rafters. So I need to make three more rafters, two of which will be exactly like these two that I already have, but one of which will stop around here because the middle A that runs this middle line is ultimately going to meet an upright kitchen and a roof right about there. So that A only needs to come down far enough to meet the roof line on the kitchen where it will be fastened on to its suit the two the two rafters on this side and that side will have a giant header in between them onto which this short end will fasten if any of that makes sense if it doesn't don't worry you'll get to watch so off I go we have our special guest star again today, Pearl. She's camouflaged in there too. She's, she's got her doggy bed over here, a towel that I put down for her to have comfort. But instead, she's burrowed herself into the brush. I think it's to stay out of the sun because it's kind of sunny today. And she's a short-haired girl. She doesn't like a sunburn. Hi, Pearl. <laughs> Nothing to say. She was so excited from yesterday's day at work. And when I went out to feed her this morning, she wouldn't even eat. She just wanted to be with me. So I brought her with me. She'll eat when she gets home. Um, but she's, <laughs> she's just so excited. I don't even play with her. I just work. But she just likes to be with people. She's a sweetie girl. We're doing pretty good on our waste. That is our pile of waste. That's it. This scrap kind of doesn't count because that's from the cottage build, actually. So these, this is all the scrap I have so far. I'm sure there will be more, because that's just how it goes. Oh, and then I guess I should count these little end cuts that are around over here. So yeah, we're doing okay for waste. Trying to keep it to a minimum. It's a lovely day, a little bit of a breeze. Hope sound isn't too bad. So, worky work, here we go. takes four two by sixes to make each side so eight two by sixes to make an arch and it is getting kind of blowy looks like a thunderstorm I have to pull the tags off they're stapled on one end of each board but the staples are not easy to pull out so we pound them in so they don't, so they still butt up as well as they should. Okay. So now I'm going to cut of them in half because each 
each side it needs a stagger, so there'll be a half board on this end and a half board on that end with a full board in between on one side of each side of each of the A's. I'm gonna shut this off because you don't need to watch me cut stuff. You've seen enough of that. Okay, so I've got some boards cut. I don't know if you can see that. There's a short board. So two boards are cut in half. That's all the cutting I need to do to do the basic assembly of the rafters. And then after there's basic assembly done, I will cut the angle off of the top ends and the notch out of the bottom ends. And then fasten them together with a plate. I have to cut the plates. I have not done that yet. I have a template, so it should go quickly. But, as expected, it's getting kind of misty. Happily, that big dark cloud went to the ocean. Or maybe rained itself out down the hill somewhere. But, so I'm going to get wet. I'm not going to be able to use the camera. But I might be able to get some work done anyway. So, we'll do as much as I can. I, um... Yeah, I'm gonna lean because I'm tired all the time again. Um, <laughs> all this building. Anyway, I got another job. Um, it's pretty lightweight. Alex already knows about it. But I start next Monday, a week from today. And in the middle of this week, of course, we have Lurvin's birthday. And so I am taking him up to Waimea for an overnight at this really amazing lodge that used to be the ranch hand housing for Parker Ranch, which is the biggest ranch in Hawaii, cattle ranch. The places like built, the cabins are built like over a hundred years ago, but they've been, of course, tidied up. They're beautiful. So we're going to stay in one of those little cabins up at Waimea for Lurvin's birthday. There's a 4th of July in here too. So this week isn't going to be as productive as I'd like, even though it's my last available non, uh, non working for somebody else kind of time. But I want to get, I'm hoping to get at least the rafters up and a little bit of sheathing on to protect, you know, to keep them stable until I can work on it some more. I don't know. I just want to get as far as I can before I'm relegated to just being able to do weekends. Anyway, so I'm going to try to get as much done as I can today, work through my supplies, that's always the goal, uh, but I don't know how much I'll be able to film it. We'll see. It's really wet. The dog is nowhere to be found. She's buried so deep in the bushes I actually cannot see her at all. Poor girl. She hates the rain. Which is why she has a dog house, but it doesn't live up here, so anyway. I got one rafter built, another one is cut and ready to lay out and put together. It's stopped raining. Um, I can hear thunder, but it's a long way away. So I'm just going to keep plugging away. I had a major, major snafu. So we have to notch, oops, let me see if I can show you this. We have to notch the end of the rafter. I notched it backwards initially so that the long part that sticks down right there it's really hard to point on camera the long part that sticks down and catches on the 2x4 was on the wrong side I don't know what I was thinking anyway luckily I had not yet cut the other end and so the amount of wood that you have to cut off to get that joint at the top to meet is enough that I was able to just cut off my mistake, <laughs> turn the board around, and start again. Whew. Anyway, it would have been fine because I could have just cut it to be that one that's going to have a short leg, but I would have lost like, I don't know, almost a whole board in that. I just didn't want to lose that much wood because it all costs money, so I might as well not waste it in their trees. So, anyway, so I was able to save it, but yeah, so that end up there, that nice cut, used to be a backwards notch. Whoops. Anyway, so I think I'll probably cut them in that order going forward, because definitely the notch is the more complicated 
the the angle at the top is just measure down nine inches, cut it to the top corner, you're done, you're good. <sighs> anyway, now I know I can save myself. I might as well keep that option available. So I'm going to build another side. That'll be two rafters ready to go. Two more to build. I don't know if I'll get through the whole... I don't know. I don't know if I'll get through the whole the middle rafter with the short leg just because I'm um, not real sure about my measurements on it and um, I don't want to blow it so I might hold off on that until I have a space like just until I can really confirm what where that short leg is going to meet a header and I don't know why I'm so worried about it because ultimately I'm building this house and whatever height that header ends up at is really just my call. But my plan is for that header to be at 8 feet. <laughs> and apparently I want it to be at 8 feet. But if it's a little high or a little low by an inch or two, there's nobody going to get mad about it but me. Back to work. It's still sprinkling a little. Heavy, heavy, light, nothing. Heavy, light, nothing. But I'm comfortable. It's not cold at all. Um, the breeze died down when it started to rain, so that helps. If it's breezy and raining, then you get a chill, but it's been pretty decent, so everybody's okay except Pearl. She's regretting her decision to come to work today. Poor dog. She came up and whimpered a few times, and I told her to go lay down. She's disappointed in me. Anyway, in a while, I'll take her down. I won't make her suffer. That one's done. So, it doesn't seem like I've done that much. Uh, it takes forever. But, this one's done. And I have extra caps. That's what I'm calling these triangles. Ready for the next A. So yeah, that'll be my goal for today is to just finish one more and then that will leave one, two, yeah, <laughs> thinking slow. That will leave just the short-legged A undone, which I want to hold off on that anyway. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to get it all assembled and then put that one in the middle. I don't know. Got stuff to work out in my head. Or if I can, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. I'll probably need to just build a prop for that short leg with a 2x4 or something to help get it into place. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Alright, so it's starting to rain again. It's been pretty pleasant, but off and on sprinkles. So I'm going to grab eight more boards, build one more of these. We'll see how we do, because I think my batteries are dying. The saw just takes so much battery life to cut through two layers of 2x6 on those notches and the top. So it may not make it, but I can nail them together at least, I suppose, and mark them up for cutting. And then if I can't cut them today, I can cut them tomorrow. Oh, sorry. My arm gets tired and it gets gradually closer. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, off I go. My fingers are positively pruny. It's just so wet today. I've got the third A, the post made, but the cuts are not made, obviously, and it's not fastened together. The, all the pieces are there, but I don't have the battery power to get the, the saw to do it because it's just so much. And it's completely okay with me. I've used... I've used all the wood. Used all my supplies. It hasn't stopped raining. It's uh, probably, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Oh, it's not that late. It's only 1.45. Feels later because I've been out this a while. But I've used all my wood. I've done my best. It's starting to pour. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm going in. Let's see if I can dry off. Oh, Pearl, this is raining hard enough to pull Pearl out of her. Oh, look. 
Here's my husband with an umbrella. Probably wonder why the hell I'm not back yet. Because it's pouring. So, wrapping it up. Done for today. Bye!